Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you with another Thursday Night Ride video. We got a bunch of folks here. We got the Browns on his new 85. He's super stoked. We got Tyler Good. Look at him getting dressed. He's doing a great job. We're real proud of him. Uh, <laughs> it is a beautiful Thursday night. So we are going to go ride some awesome trails if you guys want to join us. Stick with us. This is going to be a ton of fun. all right guys so what i'm thinking is we'll go do aspen uh we'll like loop aspen around that way like uh, what would it be like counterclockwise on the map and then uh break off and we'll go do buck everybody we all know this rule but make sure you pay attention to the person behind you Make sure that they see which way we turn. I actually had a horrific head-on crash up here because a guy in the back did not do that. And we had a guy end up going a different way on Aspen than us in our same group. And he came around, I was pinned, he was pinned, and we went number plate to number plate, boom, around a tree. It was, it was not pretty. Tyler Good, there he is. You ready? Dude. Dude, you're getting so fast, Ewan. I can't even believe it. <laughs> even in the dust. Hey, wait, wait, wait. So stop at the intersection that's out in the trees you're gonna come down those steep rocky thing and there's a trail off to the right yeah. you'll recognize it just stop there yeah let it rip tater chip I almost got hit. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Oh, guys, thanks for coming out with us. We were having so much fun. I absolutely love this Uncapaga Plateau. If you guys ever want to ride with us, just come out in the summer Thursday nights. Yeah, go ahead. Woo! <laughs> 
That was awesome. After we got past Don, that was super fun. I almost made a huge mistake. Like I went, I got my tire outside the berm and was like full lock. I'm like, oh, well, here we go. It came back on, I'm like, yeah. What up, y'all? I know, it goes faster like this. Where, where are you guys going? Over to Buck. Screw in for lean? No, screw in for rich, out for lean. In to richen it up. Yeah. In equals less air. It doesn't give it more fuel, it just means less air. But that's the same. Oh, good. Uh, carburetor. What you know, did... I, re I thought I took care of it yesterday. It was leaking gas. Oh, okay. So I pulled it apart. The float wasn't floating, and I put in the new little needle underneath the float, and all new seals, and look great. And now that's gas pouring out everywhere again. Huh? Oh, it's it's really bogging. Yeah, I bet. One to the right. Yeah, you'll see the one to the right go, and then the next one to the right. Take that. It'll go out to the road. And then take a left and you'll go right back to the truck. Broads is out! Broads is out! His carburetor is still leaking. He and his granddad tried to fix it. They did not fix it. Awesome. Auto crashed twice on that switchback. Yes. And then so I was like, I, I looked at Jeremy, I'm like, Graham Jarvis style. And I went inside or uh, 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 around him. I was like, yeah. <laughs> That tree, that's sketchy. This 
so good up here. So, so much fun. Uh, conditions really couldn't be much better. Uh, it's a little dusty. I mean, they could be a little better, but it's a little dusty out in the open, but getting the trees is nice and sweet. Oh man, I love this trail. It's the Buck Trail, guys. It is a ton of fun. ride in the dust and the, without goggles that would be miserable Are you sure? Make sure the clutch is... That's alright. What's that? Oh, we, ha we put extra coolant in Oh, no, it's fine, but oh, it's okay. that's okay. It's not, it's just not, it's not revving out like it's supposed to. It's not winding out, so it's too rich. I think. Oh, I thought maybe his clutch is gone or something. No, it's, clutch is actually alright. It just won't rev out. Oh. Come on, Tegu! Tegu, do it! <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh god, he's gonna hit it. Good job, man.
and then just drive the road back to the uh, truck. I'm bummed out, the 125 is definitely not right. It sounds fine, it just will not rev. And uh, it definitely changed. I was talking to Otto, and it was running better earlier in the night, so something has given up. So you guys need to make sure you subscribe if you're new here. Definitely subscribe because we're going to tear that thing apart and figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, we haven't really put many hours on it since we got it. Our friend Robbie Doyle gave it to us. Um, I put a head on it and did the suspension. Jetted it. It ran pretty darn good down low. It seems like it's run pretty good this evening. Uh, until the end of the night, so... You guys should definitely comment below what you think may be wrong with it, because here's the list of things I think it could be. Either the ring hung up and it's lost compression. It chipped the reed, it's not run that good, although I doubt that. Um, main jack could have maybe fallen out. Uh, could be an ignition problem, or could be that it's just too rich for up here and it's trying to foul plug. Or if you have another option, let me know. Um, but yeah. Just have a little ways to go left. My bike's running great. <laughs> and I'm kind of glad that did that, you know, on Thursday night ride and not my kid was racing it somewhere so we can figure out what the heck's up with it. 